Now it's time to discover, discover Bluffton. We're talking about Bluffton University campus. And joining us today, he's an admissions counselor, Zach Likens. And thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Why is it important to actually go to a campus before you decide where you want to go to college? For sure, yeah. I mean, it's it's very important just so that you understand, hey, what feels like home for me, right? Um, being able to just see the per, uh, see the campus as well as meet professors and other students. Um, that's, a, that's a really big deal just because it, it allows you to say, hey, what feels right to me, right? Like, what's mm -hmm. my next steps? And um, both academically as well as just the student body, um, right. what makes me feel comfortable. Yeah, and you can tell when you hit, hit the campus, you know, 100%. whether you're, yeah, this is home or whatever. Okay, so you've got some days coming up for mm -hmm. groups. What do you mean by groups? Do you want school groups or youth groups? What, who do you want to Yeah, come? so it's actually usually students. Um, our Discover Bluffing days are usually students and their, their parents. Okay. Um, we usually come on campus, get like a broad experience, right, take a campus tour, um, as well as hear from uh, some current students and, and maybe talk to some professors as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so the first one will be February 19th. The other one will be on a Saturday, April 20th. So these are just good opportunities. And do you need to sign up ahead of time for these visits? Yes, yeah. So you can go online and sign up on our uh, on our website as well as for individual visits. And individual visits will be more geared towards, um, you know, going to meet with a professor, going to take a campus tour individually. Um, I actually went on my first uh, visit to Bluffton for Discover Bluffton when okay. I was a junior in high school. And so that was a cool opportunity. And now being able to talk about it, it's a really unique experience. I'm glad you mentioned that you were a junior because lots of times people think well I have to wait till I'm a senior in yeah. high school no it's yeah. do it earlier right yes, so you 100%. can see more places and figure it all yep. out absolutely yeah I, we're open for whoever and these are really good um, opportunities especially for underclassmen um, sophomores juniors to come and uh, again take that broad campus tour um, so that you can kind of and I would recommend doing that with other universities as well. Mm -hmm. And when you're going to tour Bluffton, you're going to see the new Science Center. Absolutely. What's up with that? How's that yeah, going? Yeah, it looks awesome. It, it's cool that students are able to, to have new resources, new materials. Um, it, I know it really helps the professors out a lot. Um, just being able to go to the next level when it comes to uh, their academic experience in the sciences. Mm -hmm. And that building is beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> a lot of windows, a lot of cool study spots, and, and the labs are gorgeous. Uh -huh. So I assume the students have really been enjoying because oh, you moved in this year, right? Is yes, the right? so first year was this year. So yeah, yeah, students will actually be able to see that when they come on campus for Discover Bluffton. And that's important too, to be able to see all the different buildings yes. like that and, and to know that you guys are invested into the campus. For sure, absolutely. Yep. And you're also invested into different programs, right? Because you just signed up a partnership for engineering. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so um, Bluffton University and OSU Lima um, have done a collaboration for engineering. So um, students can kind of get a dual degree from both universities. Um, but what that offers for students interested in Bluffton is you can have that residential experience at Bluffton. Um, maybe for student athletes who want to play a Division three sport. Um, but also if you just want the college experience to live on campus, um, but while also having other resources close by in Lima to be able to um, to use the facilities at, at OSU Lima. Mm -hmm. And I assume engineering is one of those in-demand fields like it's, so many, yeah, right? Yeah, that and nursing, and, and we have that partnership with Rhodes State as well. So. Uh -huh. Yeah, so many different degrees, and you can learn that too, like what degrees you offer when you're going to these campus visits. Yeah, and oftentimes I think students have this uh, this understanding that, hey, I have to, my, have to have my life figured out when I'm 18 years old. And, <laughs> And when you go on campus, you really learn, like, okay, I have time to make these decisions. And maybe you see something that um, you didn't realize that a, a university had. Uh -huh. I think that is a good thing because to mention, because I think many times people are like, well, I know I have to major in this, and so I'm going to go sure. here. But when you go to a place like Bluffton, there's there's a variety of options, so at least you know there's that when you go to Bluffton. Yeah, absolutely. And with our um, with our small campus, we have uh, the opportunity for students to to interact with professors, to ask those hard questions, to be able to say, hey, maybe this isn't the best major for me, but let's work on getting uh, you know another fit, a better fit. All right. Yeah. All right. So sign up now. You said going online is the best yep. way to schedule these visits. Yep. Calling, reaching out to one of us admissions counselors for sure. All right. Go visit Bluffton University. Thanks for coming today. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right. Don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next. Thank you.